Hello everybody and welcome to my very first video on this channel. I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting to film this video, I want to say for like a year and a half to two years at this point, but life and laziness and procrastination honestly have just been in my way. So I'm excited to finally sit down and film this. Um, since it is my first video, I kind of just wanted to introduce myself and I'm going to be talking about my carnivore weight loss journey. I did lose 58 pounds going meat-based and eating a carnivore diet, so that's going to be the main gist of this specific video. Um, but I'm really excited to be here and I'm glad you're watching. A little bit about me. Um, my name is Brittany. I'm 27. Um, I live in the South. I'm married and a stay-at-home mom of four kids. Um, we have a six-year-old, a five-year-old, a one-and-a-half-year-old, and a, a one-month-old. So our house stays pretty busy. Um, actually, two of them are out playing in the backyard. So if you hear screaming during this video, nobody's dying i promise they just we just play really hard over here and of course as i was saying that a child was coming through the back door i think i'm just gonna have to be cool with interruptions on these videos um but i wanted to talk about my carnivore weight loss journey um i started carnivore because i was overweight i was very insecure in myself um, I had some depression going on i had no energy i was very moody um and Whenever I found out about carnivore, I realized that I wasn't gonna have to like portion, I wasn't gonna have to restrict um, or anything like that. Uh, no macro counting, macro counting and I don't get along very well. Um, so I've definitely done that before. Um, so that's why I started carnivore. I found carnivore actually through a vegan girl that I watched on YouTube. Her channel used to be called Raw Alignment. Her name's Elise Parker. Um, but I, at, at that point in my life, I just thought like vegan's where it's at, you know? So I was watching a bunch about um, vegan. I've actually been vegan in 2015. My husband and I um, went vegan for about three months. And it was a miserable three months for me, even though I did lose some weight. Um, but that's how I found Carnivore was through her channel. She had a video where she said she was only going to eat meat. Um, and I was like, uh, girl, girl, you're vegan though. Why are you doing that? And so it just, it caught my attention and I watched it and she had great results. And so I decided, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to try this thing because I like meat. I'm good with eating a lot of meat and I don't really care for like fruits and veggies that much. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to give this a try. Um, I actually made an outline for this video. I've I tried to record a video yesterday just on the fly and I realized I left so much out. So I actually do have an outline that I'm following. Um, if you haven't heard of a carnivore diet, you don't know what it is. Basically carnivores just eat meat, eggs, and some have dairy, some don't. I personally keep dairy in. I love dairy. Who doesn't love dairy? I love cheese and sour cream. I don't really have milk that often, but I did in the beginning. Um, Anyway, so a carnivore diet, you eat meat, dairy, and eggs. Anything that you still walk, swim, or fly, they say. Um, a lot of people switch over um, to carnivore from like paleo or keto, um, usually for weight loss or to help with their um, autoimmune issues since carnivore is very anti-inflammatory. Um, before carnivore, I was eating very inflammatory foods. I was always bloated. I have a list of the majority of the foods that I was eating. Um, I was eating a standard American diet. I live in the South, so lots of fried foods, a lot of sweet tea. I was probably drinking close to a gallon of sweet tea a day if not a gallon and maybe more some days. It was a lot and in the South we put a lot of sugar in our tea. So a lot of fried foods, you know, like French fries and fried chicken was one of my favorites. Um, I had a lot of burgers and rolls. We went to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, my husband and I, um, for over, over two years I wanna say and we would eat it at like four times during the week. For breakfast so I was starting my morning out with like the little chicken minis um, hold on that was my son 
But yeah, we had Chick-fil-A all the time. Um, other than that, for breakfast, I would have cereal sometimes. Um, back when I worked with my husband, in the mornings we would get breakfast. Um, if we didn't go to Chick-fil-A, we were going to a donut shop and I would have like two kolaches and a Sprite. So I did have Sprites, um, pancakes, and my favorite thing right before starting carnivore, my favorite snack was um, these little like frosted pretzels and I could eat a whole bag of those in a day, okay? I was eating horribly. Um, I weighed, at my highest, I weighed 220 pounds. Pictures do not exist of me during that time period. I made sure of that. Um, if there are any, um, they, my family has them or something, but I made sure no pictures were taken of me and if they were, that they were deleted. Um, I do have pictures from when I was around 200 pounds and if I figure out how to edit this video, I'll put those in. Um, but yeah, my heaviest was uh, 220. When I started carnivore, I was around 200 pounds um, because I just, I ate crap all the time. I did not exercise. Not that exercise is necessary, but I just, I wasn't very active other than keeping up with my kids. Um, so when I found out about carnivore and knew that I wanted to start, I did a lot of research. Like I was watching videos, listening to podcasts constantly, probably for a couple weeks before I actually started. I loved listening to Kelly Hogan. She has a YouTube channel. I'll link these people below if I can figure that out. Um, Kelly Hogan, a lot of Dr. Ken Berry, um, some Sean Baker, some Paul Saladino, um, which are very popular names in the carnivore or like ketovore community. Um, so I checked those out and I was just like obsessively watching them because I, I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. Um, I decided to commit to 30 days and I had to let my husband know what I was doing. I think at the time he was just kind of like, he's used to me trying different things because I had tried like calorie counting. I had tried portioning before. Um, I had tried the potato diet. I had done beach body because I used to work for a beach body coach as her online assistant. And so I did like beach body has meal plans and stuff like that. I've done that. Um, vegan. So. Anyway, he was kind of used to me trying to figure out how to lose weight. And at one point I thought, you know what? Actually, right before I found carnivore, I was like, you know what? I think I'm just meant to be fat. Like I'm meant to be overweight. It's genetic, I can't help it. Um, I tried working out for a full year while portioning my food. Um, that did not work out. I lost about 20 pounds in that full year, um, which was not good enough for me. And I decided to just give up because I was like, 20 pounds isn't worth a full year of working out every morning and portioning all my food. Um, but anyway, so I let my husband know I was going to do carnivore and that I was committing to a month. And um, I think he was just kind of like, okay, whatever. Like he was supportive of it. Um, he was used to me trying random weird things. Um, so he was like, yeah. And he probably thought, you know, once this 30 days is over, we're going to go back to eating out all the time. Um, he stayed eating the diet we were previously eating. Um, but anyway, so I actually started cold turkey. Um, a lot of people like to ease into it. My husband had to ease into it whenever he started, which was a year after I'd been doing carnivore for about a year, um, 11 months. Um, so I just started cold turkey. I know myself and I know if I allow myself a little bit, I'm going to take a lot. Um, so I went into it cold turkey. I went out and bought um, all the meat. I bought dairy. And even though I didn't quite know how the different foods were going to fit into um, the way I wanted to eat, I just, I just went and picked up random, like my favorite meats, which were um, chicken and ground beef mostly. Um, I did keep in dairy, so I put on here uh, a lot of eggs, bacon, ground beef, and chicken. That's about right. Um, sour cream, cheese, I did have milk in the beginning, um, and I cut out literally everything else. I went through um, our cabinets and just threw out everything. Um, I didn't count calories and I ate until I was full. Like, um, all the research I had done said to eat until you're comfortably stuffed. And that's what I did. Um, I didn't worry about fat or protein ratio. I listened to my body. If I was wanting chicken, I ate chicken. If I was wanting, um, beef, I ate beef. Um, so I guess I just, you know, thought my body knew what it needed as far as 
protein and fat and I just decided to listen to that. Um, and I ate as often as I wanted to. If I was hungry, I ate. If I was full, I didn't. When people are asking me about carnivore, because I talked to plenty of people about this, um, they wonder if I like struggled in the beginning. And going cold turkey, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I figured it would probably be really hard to cut out like all of my favorite foods. Um, but I didn't really struggle with it at all. I think the hardest part for me was um, making meals for myself. Like I, we went out to eat all the time before. So I wasn't used to having to cook. I've never been a huge fan of being in the kitchen. Um, so the hardest part for me was to cook for myself and not just be like, hey, yeah, would you pick me up a burger while you're out? Um, that kind of thing. Uh, so that was the most difficult, but I really did not struggle to eat meat. I've always really, really loved meat. Um, after about three days, my cravings were completely gone. Um, I thought I was going to struggle with that for longer, but I really didn't. Um, so, you know, in the beginning, it wasn't that hard for me, but I know a lot of people really struggle with um, taking out foods, but I had never really been a fruit or veggie person. So really it was just the carbs that I missed and like the sugar, but that only lasted a few days and then it was over. During the first month, um, some of the biggest things I noticed as far as changes go, um, not only did I lose some weight the first month, I want to say I lost uh, around 17 pounds. I'd have to go back and look. Um, I think I lost around 17 pounds the first month. So obviously that's a big change to me when I'm looking at the scale. Um, but I noticed far more other changes than just weight loss, which is the reason I started. Um, my skin started clearing up. I've always had like, I'm not sure if it's been eczema or what, but I have like bumpy patches on my skin and they're kind of reddish and they would be itchy. Um, I react to a lot of soaps and stuff like that. And I realized that I didn't react to those things as badly anymore. Um, I was less moody. I had way more energy. Like more energy than I ever remember having in my whole entire life, even back when I was a kid. Um, I always struggled really bad with dandruff and my dandruff completely went away the first week. So that was a huge thing that I noticed. It was always really bad before and I would get like, like the nasty like patches on my head um, from my dandruff. So that completely went away the first week and may have been my favorite thing to begin with. Um, I slept harder, I woke up easier. I had killed my hormones with birth control before. And so um, my libido started returning and that was nice. Uh, my digestion finally got regular for the first time ever. I did get constipated. I used to be constipated all the time. Um, I probably had IBS to be honest, but um, I would be constipated all the time and during carnivore for the first 17 days, actually, I was constipated. Um, and then I typed on a carnivore uh, Facebook page that I'm a part of, and I was like, hey, I am having problems, what do I need to do? And they were like, take some magnesium. So I took some magnesium and that fixed me up. And then I went on to the carnivore poo, which, I'm open with everybody about. I can be a little bit of an oversharer. Um, carnivore poo while you're fat adapting, it's not fun. It's the least, it's the least fun of all the things. Um, so anyway, my digestion finally got regular the first month. I had zero cravings, zero brain fog, which is like, I wouldn't have known what that was before. Um, but it was just mental clarity that I didn't know existed, no brain fog whatsoever, and then no bloat, which I'd always been bloated before. And it was so, I'm like, man, not only am I losing weight, but like, I ain't bloated. I ain't bloated, it was nice. Um, so, and then I also noted in here, the following year I noticed um, my skin completely cleared up I didn't actually sunburn anymore. I've I've always been super red in the sun. Um, like I would turn into a lobster. It was really, really bad. I would peel horribly. And I noticed that I actually don't burn very much anymore, which is weird. And a few carnivores have mentioned that too. I don't understand it, but I'm down for it. Um, I have a very healthy libido. I lost 58 pounds in all so far. I have um, had two pregnancies since going carnivore. And 
Honestly, losing below 58 pounds is not is not a goal for me. I lost more than I expected to. Um, so I started, I was 200 pounds and I got down to 143. My goal was to get to 145. So I'm not really looking to lose more than that. Um, I So one of the biggest things, which is not physical, is confidence. I gained so much confidence. I do feel like a brand new person. I used to look in the mirror and like, I, I, I was like, that's not me. That's not who I am in my head, you know? And now I feel more like who I am in my head. So I gained a lot of confidence, which has been amazing. Um, my family joined me at the end, which I, which I mentioned. I started in January, January 1st of 2020. And my family joined me in December of 2020. Um, I had a healthy keto pregnancy. I did have some meat aversions with both of my pregnancies. Um, my first since going carnivore was keto. This last one, I kind of fell off, honestly. Um, so I'm still, I've still got some uh, baby weight to lose. But um, my husband lost over 40 pounds. My daughter, my oldest daughter, had the same kind of bumpy skin that I had, and hers completely has healed up. Um, and my son used to have really bad, like, geographic tongue, and um, he doesn't have that anymore eating a carnivore diet. So I think that's really cool. Initially, I did just plan to do 30 days. I was gonna challenge myself to 30 days, complete it, and then add in some other foods. I was like, you know, I'll see how they affect me, and I'll decide what I wanna add back in. Um, and you know what? I I felt so good after that 30 days. I was like, I'm sticking with it. I'm staying carnivore. I'm not changing. I think my husband um, was probably a little bit disappointed when he found out I was going to stay carnivore. Um, I He was proud of me and what I had accomplished, but in our past, bonding over meals was like our thing, and I was no longer eating meals with them. Um, I actually, I didn't mention this before, but um, when I first started for the first couple of weeks, I was eating three meals a day. And then I went to eating two meals a day because I just wasn't hungry. I realized like I was trying to listen to my hunger cues and I was like, I'm not really hungry for dinner, but I was eating it anyway because I was just in the routine of eating three meals a day. Um, so I decided um, to just cut it back to two, which meant that without trying, I was intermittent fasting, which I 100% recommend if you're trying to lose weight. Um, so I did do that. Um, but my husband just didn't expect that I was gonna stay long-term. And I think it took him a minute to kind of register that. And um, of course, eventually he joined me at the end of the year, but um, that was kind of a little hurdle for us to get over since we were no longer eating meals at the same time anymore. Um, I, I'm not as strict on myself. I am gonna stay carnivore. Um, I'm happy being carnivore. I feel the best being carnivore, um, but I'm not as strict on myself. You know, on holidays or special occasions, um, or if we're going out with other people, sometimes I'll I'll eat something that's not carnivore. Like, um, I'll have desserts on birthdays and around Christmas time. I'm gonna have some desserts with my family. Um, I'm not the person that's like I'm never ever gonna have sugar again. I'm never gonna have carbs again. Um, I I just kind of weigh my options. I've figured out what affects me. Wheat is not my friend. As soon as I have something with wheat, like if I'm gonna have. Um, any type of like cakey or breaded thing, my dandruff comes back the next day. And then it takes about a week to get over it again. So wheat is not my friend, but I have figured out how some certain foods affect me and I just have to weigh that in my mind and decide, is this something that's gonna be worth the, the outcome? Which a lot of times is skin flare ups or um, dandruff or issues with my bowels. Um, so I just kind of weigh that in my mind and decide if I'm going to eat it or not. I do get asked a lot if um, I still have cravings, and I do. Sometimes I do. Around my period or during pregnancy, I definitely have cravings for sweets. It's not typically um, anything breaded. It's, I will say like potatoes. During pregnancy, I wanted sweets and potatoes. Um, my previous pregnancies before being carnivore, I really wanted like spicy foods. I wanted a lot of hot sauce. Um, and these past two pregnancies since being carnivore, I wanted sweets. And I found that really interesting that back when I was eating a lot of sweets, 
those pregnancies I wanted a lot of spice and then whenever I don't eat any sweets anymore and I have a lot of you know sodium in my diet then my body craves sweets I, I did find that very interesting but um yeah, I do still have cravings sometimes, but it's rare. Typically during the week, I don't. So that's pretty much it. That's my that's my carnivore weight loss journey. Um, I do highly recommend if you're looking to improve your health in any way, it's not just weight loss, challenge yourself to 30 days of carnivore, take out all the inflammatory foods and just see how you feel. Um, and if you do decide to add those foods back in, you'll know how they affect you and then you can just gauge from then on um, if you wanna limit certain items or take some completely out of your diet. Um, it'll benefit you, I promise. Um, I'll link down below, like I said, um, the different accounts that I was uh, keeping up with and the ones that I learned from a lot, I'll link those. And then also I did start um, at the beginning when I first started Carnivore, I started an Instagram account um, to just hold myself accountable. It was, it was private to begin with. I didn't plan on sharing it with anyone, but after I had the amazing results, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna share this because I was someone who was looking for this and it was hard for me to find. Um, so I'm gonna share my journey with other people. So I opened it up, made it public, and I've made so many, you know, honestly, more than what I've accomplished with going carnivore, my favorite, my absolute favorite thing has been forming relationships with people who I meet through Instagram. I've made so many friends and I'm pretty sure a lot of them are gonna be lifelong relationships that I keep. So if you wanna follow my Instagram account, feel free to send me a message and say hi, tell, tell me you came from my YouTube channel. Um, I have done three interviews in the past. I did one with MeetRx. If you've looked into Carnivore, you may know what MeetRx is. Um, I did an interview with them and two others. Um, so I'll link those down below if you're interested in watching them. But thank you for making it through this video. I'm sorry for all the cut scenes. The kids came in several different times, um, but I'm excited to finally film this and I'll be happy to have it uploaded Loaded. On a side note, as far as this channel goes, I would love to record some more videos. So if you've got any topics you would like for me to discuss, feel free to leave them in the comments. It doesn't have to be limited to carnivore. It could be anything kind of lifestyle related, just whatever. Whatever you're interested in, doesn't hurt to leave a comment and I may cover it. Um, I hope to see you over on my Instagram account. My husband and I have not decided, because we've discussed this channel for a while. I've wanted to start one for over two years. Um, we're not sure if we want the kids to end up on YouTube or not. We'll see. I just want to be careful with internet safety and all that. But feel free to ask if you've made it this far through my ramblings. Thank you and have a great day.